So I'm going to now show you how I make a levain and a starter dough. Uh, the levain is basically the uh, starter of a new bread that's made from the starter, and then I will refresh the starter for the future. Let me explain. <clears throat> First of all, I, everything is done by weight. I have a scale here. Um, and I always zero out the tear so that I can measure each uh, item separately. Okay, I'm going to start by making levain. It's the beginning of a loaf of bread or two loaves of bread, a recipe. This is my existing starter. It has sort of a vinegary smell. It's a, a thick and viscous um, substance. It's basically flour and water and it's rather bubbly looking. And uh, at least once a week, I will refresh my starter. I can, from this starter, make several recipes of bread. Um, and I'm gonna make one now, and then I'm gonna refresh the starter from it, and then whatever's left over, I will put in my unused container. So to start this, I will measure out first some water. Um, it's, it, the recipe happens to be 116 grams of water at 76 to 80 degrees. Okay. And, and to the water, I will add, I will just call it a dollop of starter. It's about how much I use. Probably a generous tablespoon. It's about 40 grams. And this now will be mixed in into the water. So it's kind of thick and, uh, it's very thick, but as I blend it, it will become mixed in. Uh, you can't hurt it. All right, I think I got it. So, to this, I now add the flour. I'm going to put this back on the scale. I'm going to zero it out. And this particular recipe uses whole wheat flour for the levain. And I need 110 grams. I never trust myself. I always keep trying to, I keep checking. All right, 110 grams. Um, I try to buy organic flour. I believe this is uh, King Arthur. And now I, I blend this flour into the mixture, basically until I can't see flour anymore. So this is kind of your library paste, right? It's flour and water and and starter dough, and the starter itself is flour and water and natural yeast from the air. It's pretty thick, and this will uh, sit on the counter. It's now summertime, so uh, the house is warm enough that it just sits out on the kitchen counter. In wintertime, I put it in a proofer uh, where I can maintain a 72 to 75 degree temperature. All right, well, I think I got it. I don't see any flour. It's all blended in. And that is my levain. Now I'm going to be... Um, I need to get one more thing. to the air because the air has the bacteria and the yeast that we want and the uh, uh, that we are basically fermenting with. So 
That is now my Levain, and it will be done, uh, we can tell it's done by the float test, and I'll show that in the morning uh, when we go to the next phase. Now, I've done the Levain, but I have to refresh my starter. This starter is over a, uh, a week old, and I don't like it to go more than a week. So, in another bowl, we actually go through pretty much the same, um, the same process. Now, there's many ways to manage the starter, uh, and this is the way I manage mine. Uh, at least once a week, whoops, I need to zero out the, the uh, scale. Uh, at least once a week, I will refresh my starter and make whatever bread I can in the meantime. So I'm going to measure out 150 grams of water, and then I'm going to put in my dollop of, start, of starter dough. And once again, I'm going to Mix this in. Now, um, I have also here a place where I put my unused starter. And I will, at some, I will let you know about that later on, that there's things you can do with unused starter. So there is always the discard. At this point, I just want to get my starter revived or refreshed. Now I have this, the water, I have the um, starter, and I will use white flour this time. Uh, we will talk a bit later about flour. This is uh, Central Millings flour that I get at uh, Costco. And I will now be putting in the equal part. Uh, I had 150 grams of water, so I'm going to use 150 grams of flour. And again, I will take my uh, spatula and uh, mix this together until I can't see any flour, until all the flour is, uh, is combined in, with, the, with the water. Um, it will again be a very thick uh, mass, and tomorrow it will um, take on the characteristic uh, smell, uh, a fresher smell than the, than the smell of the starter right now, which is sort of vinegary. So once you refresh in it, it gives it a fresher smell and, uh, and it actually affects the bread by how, long, how old the starter has been. All right, so now, That's my starter, and I'm going to put it under the same towel so that it doesn't dry out or form a skin. Now the last thing I will do is I have leftover starter, discarded starter, and I just have a container that I put it in and save it. Now this will become waffles. Every week I will make a a load of waffles using uh, my discarded starter. So I don't waste it. And that's it. Now tomorrow we'll talk about, or the next, the next uh, film, we'll talk about uh, the, the float test and what we do to show that it's ready. Um, but for now, it is put to bed. Thank you.